Hey guys, welcome back to another one of my YouTube shorty videos. So today what I wanted to show you is just one of the options within the options menu here in Pro Tools. So it's just gonna be a really quick shorty video. So basically the issue that we're addressing here is that we can use our shortcuts to pick these different edit tools. So for example, we might do F8 for the grabber tool. We might do F6 for the trimmer tool. And basically if we go left to right with these F keys, starting with F5, we can pick the different tools here, right? And I'm sure most of you know that some of these tools have multiple options, right? So if we have this little arrow at the bottom of the icon for the tool, then you're gonna have multiple options for that tool. So if I hit F8 multiple times for the grabber tool, I can cycle through all the different options for the grabber tool. So what at least used to happen, and it might still happen to some people depending on your setup, what type of keyboard you're using, um, I'm not really sure entirely what parameters would cause this issue. But basically, if you hit something like the F8 key for the grabber, for example, and you just want the regular grabber, you could accidentally hit it twice, or rather have the computer register it as being hit twice, and then you'd end up on the wrong grabber tool. So the option that we're going over today actually addresses this issue. So if you go to the options menu, you can find it. You can also do control shift and then T to activate it or deactivate it. But the option here is the edit tool mode keyboard lock. So you can either click it to activate it and now you can see that it's checked off or I can do control shift T to check it off or uncheck it. So I'm gonna turn it on, control shift T. So now it's on, see? And so what this does is if I press the F key for any of these tools that have multiple options here, it will actually lock that tool on the basic version of that tool. So you'll see as I hit F8 for the grabber, we get this little lock icon activating here. So that's just showing me that it's locked on that tool. So I can't accidentally do that. So while you're in this mode, let's say you wanna activate one of these sub tools for the grabber tool. So I'm pressing F8, it's not working, it's showing me the lock icon. You can still go and hover and click and hold and then select whichever one you want. So you can still uh, choose those sub tools if you want them. And then also once we're in a sub tool, if we still have this option on, this edit tool mode keyboard lock option on, what happens is if you try to hit the F8 key again, it's gonna be locked on whichever tool we're on. So it doesn't keep you locked on that main tool necessarily. It's just whichever one is active when you go into that mode. So I hope that makes sense. So yeah, this option is just helpful if you have the type of setup where you find that you've accidentally pressed the keyboard shortcut twice or the computer thinks you have and you've ended up in the wrong tool. So I haven't really found this to be a problem myself, so I don't use this function, but I'm sure other people maybe with different keyboards or different typing habits might experience this issue and find this fix helpful. So that's why I wanted to show it to you guys. And you know, honestly, all I know is how this option affects these edit tools here. So I'm not sure if it affects anything else at all. So if you know of anything else that it affects in Pro Tools, then please let us know in the comments below. So yeah, that's basically it for today. I just wanted to show you guys that quick option within Pro Tools. It is a YouTube shorty, so I gotta run. But thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Like, subscribe, share my channel with your friends. And my Patreon is patreon.com slash noise if you feel like visiting that. So thanks again, guys. I will be coming out with new videos every Wednesday. And thanks for watching. Okay.